Okay, welcome back. We are playing the 100 Baby Challenge. We have just given birth to little baby William. And even though I know he's going to keep Nyla awake, we're still going to put him in her bedroom because I would rather do that than have to fight every one of these children to stay away from him. So I'm going to make sure that her door is locked for everyone but Nyla so that we do not have to worry about all these helpful children getting in the way. One thing I have decided is that I am going to be removing the writing mod that I put in here. I did it initially to make it more realistic to write the books that I'm writing for each of the kids. But the problem is that there is no way to to write more than one book at a time. And I don't have time to like wait for the um, agent to send the book out and wait for the queries to come back. I wouldn't mind doing that if at the same time I could also be working on some uh, the next book, like writing a new outline. Like I know I am a writer and I can start outlining and working on the next book while my current book is going through all those processes. So it's just kind of annoying to uh, to have to do it that way. Not have to do it that way, but it's annoying that I can only do one book at a time. So I'm going to take that mod out and just write and self-publish books the old-fashioned way. And we'll just see what happens. Catherine is in here mopping as Kenneth is trying to fix it. Good job, Kenneth. Thanks. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork. And we have school tomorrow. And I think everybody is good. Kenneth is ready. Clint is ready. It's his first day of high school. Catherine's first day of high school. And she's ready. Roger is ready he'll be going let's see he has social at level four which is all he needs so he's good to go as well so that's it everybody in this house is doing really good which is great because when when we just got back from the sale that we were at everybody was kind of losing their minds okay there's only four things to eat in here so we're gonna have nyla cook something else and then we're going to bed. It's 1.30 in the morning, everybody. Oh, she maxed her cooking skill. Fantastic. Clint woke up and went straight in here and started hitting this bear. Clint, stop it. Come paint. Let out your feelings over here with the painting. Poor Catherine's in here scrubbing this toilet. I don't know what your mom did to it last night, but it's bad. Oh, painting level four. Great. Quit being mean to your siblings, Clint. Oh, my gosh. Come get something to eat and leave everybody alone. Kenneth, go to school. Don't talk to Clint. You guys study hard. We want to see lots of A's today, please. Oh, Kenneth's going to school. Very focused. Oh, great. Nyla woke up flirty, and that is perfect. Thanks, Nickel. Congrats on the new addition to the family. That's perfect that Nyla woke up flirty because we are heading out somewhere to see if we can find us. A partner. One, two, three, four, five, six people in this house. We definitely have room for that. Nickel. Nickel just called me again to say congrats on the new addition. All right. I got you, buddy. Okay. Let's go. It's about to start raining here. We want to go to somewhere cool. Let's see. I feel like it might be a little early to go to a bar. But I could go to this restaurant. Here's just a park. Let's go to the park, Nyla. Nope, just me and Nyla. I can look for frogs, although this water kind of looks sketchy. Oh, Caleb is here. And he's playing. Let's see who we can play with. Uh, what if we call our group together? Can we kick him out of the group? Okay, let's start a gathering here. Hey, Caleb. There are a lot of gardeners here. Okay, you look like you're number... Nope, you're Victor Fang. You look like you're number one. Well, she can immediately, like, do things with him in the bush. Okay. Caleb, this is going to get real awkward if you stay in our conversation. Okay, I'm going to need you to go sit and chat here with him. Oh, my gosh. All of the daddies are sitting at this table? No, not a flirty introduction. Let's do a friendly introduction to everybody. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of people here that she's met. Let's see, who are you? Ahmad, do we know you already? 
Yes. Okay. We've met Ahmad. We have not met Angelo. And we've not met Yichin Chin. So can you meet them, please? Okay. We have an introduction to both of those people. And we really like them. Although we're really liking Rodney, who's sitting right beside us. So I think we're going to end the gathering. Oh, I already did that. Okay. So I think she and Rodney are going to travel somewhere so that they can go be alone. Rodney will see you there. Okay. I think we'll go here to the bar where the clothing is optional. I've never been to these places before, so we're all checking them out at the same time. I don't want to go back home where there's a screaming baby. So, oh, he liked it. Okay, okay. Their friendship is really high. So, let's do a little flirt. I just needed to do a little friendly introduction. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that I needed to do that for her thing. I just wanted to make sure we knew him. Okay, bye. You can leave. Oh, wow. They can first kiss. Okay, let's do that instead of talking to this other guy. Oh, and then he blew her a kiss. Okay. Let's uh, let's see if there's a place we can be alone for a little bit. Oh, it seems to be plenty of places in this in this <laughs> in this location. Let's see. Wow, there's a bartender and all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's go here together. Well, let's just uh sit here together. No, we don't want to talk to him anymore. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's clothing optional, and she has taken off her clothing. And then she put them back on. Where did he go? Where are you, Rodney? He left? Rodney left? Dude, get yourself back here. Rodney, I came in this room, I took my clothes off, and then you just left. My kids are home from school. Oh, Kenneth is an A student, and so is Clint, and so is Catherine. Oh my gosh, I can move three kids out of my house. Okay, we're all taking our clothes off. Okay, so if that is the case, could we... Oh my gosh, is Raphael here? Okay, Raphael is here. And we're just standing in here not wearing any clothes. Try for pregnancy. Um, uh, what? I feel like... Nothing happened there. Yeah. Um, girl, get up. We got to start this all over again. She's still not wearing any clothes. Jeb Harris. Sure, ask her out. I talked to you one time in a club and then realized you were a teenager. I'm still getting the music as if they're doing something in this bed when they are absolutely not. So, okay, let's try for pregnancy again and see what happens. I heard you became friends. Okay, Amelia apparently knows Rodney. Okay, now it appears to be working this time. Good. No protection was used. I'm going to need you. Okay, Nala has zero shame. She's walking through here straight naked. She is not pregnant. We got to do this again. I am so sorry. Come back over here. Hey, what if you come in here with me? Like, couldn't we do something in the shower? Why is this not an option? Try for pregnancy again. This is going to take all day. Okay, well, good. At least we're not the only one naked. Sophia, oh, came in here. Okay, no protection was used. Let's try it again. We're going to spend all our money taking pregnancy tests. Uh-oh, I think he left. Please be pregnant. Please be pregnant. Please be pregnant. No. With your naked self in here on the pot. Yay, Nyla is pregnant. Fantastic, Nyla. Let's go home. She wanted to, like, cook some peas and all kinds of stuff here. She must be hungry. I've not looked at her needs the first time since we left the house. Yeah, she's hungry and she needs to shower. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. Okay, how is it going here? I mean, everybody's doing great. I just feel like you need to do your homework. Where's Clint? Oh, he's standing outside. He's fine. Oh, here's Marcus. Roger, is that your dad? Isn't Marcus your dad? Hold on. 
Yeah, Marcus is your dad. Do you want to come say hi to your dad? Ask for help with your homework. That's fantastic. Marcus, you can't go in there and help him? Can you let this gentleman in, please? I promise it's okay. Now, can you help me with my homework, Dad? Nice, nice, nice. Catherine, would you like to be the first one to level up? Wait, who's at our house? Haley Holly is here. All right. I feel like every time I leave Kenneth unattended, he comes over here and starts playing with his with these toys. Kenneth, come blow out the candles, please. I'm going to go ahead and age all three of them up, but I will not be moving them out, of course, until their books are written. So, Yay, everybody's in here to celebrate you, buddy. Clint, can you come here? It's your turn next. Oh, he is high maintenance. I feel like I knew that from the very beginning. We're going to make him want to be a chef, and we'll get him a job. In the chef career, Nickel sent you a gift, buddy. Oh, so did Addison and Amelia. Okay, so we're going to automatically have you find a job. Clint, come add some birthday candles so you can age up. Let's see, Clint's an A student and Catherine's an A student. Nice. Okay, so he wants to be a uh, culinary. There we go. All right, Clint, it's your turn. <laughs> Blow out the candles. Catherine, you're going to be next. Oh, wow. He blew a horn for him. Oh, of course he's a genius. He's mean, he hates children, and he's a genius. Y'all, he's got to go into the science career, right? Knowledge. Is there some kind of like computer whiz? Nerd brain. Smart and handy. What about like knowledge? Huh. Oh, maybe he'll just do fortune. He wants to be fabulously wealthy. Yes. Okay, great. All right. And then you're going to call and get a job. Oh, nice, Marcus. Just became friends with his son. Okay, let's see. I think he's going to be like an engineer, a salary person. Yeah, I think we're going to do engineer for him. Okay, and then Catherine is a musical genius. We're definitely doing the musician, and she's going to go into the musical career. Add birthday candles, please. Should Clint get a jump start on his work assignment? Sure. We'll see what happens, but awesome. That's all the birthdays. Everybody's aged up. Mom's got to write books and take pictures of everybody, and I also thought that she was on her way home. Can you get here, please, Mom? Thanks. I'm glad the baby's just been fantastic this whole time. I just need you to take a shower. He wanted to go in there and play in the shower. Okay, and what does he need to do for his job? He just needs to cook. Okay, so in order for Clint to get his promotion, he's got to earn a technical degree in biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, psychology or villainy. So, of course, he's going to do villainy, but... I mean, I think that'd be funny if he has a degree in villainy. But anyway, he can work on these other things while he's doing that. Tinker or craft at a robotics workstation. Well, I don't know where we'll get that from. I mean, we have the money for it. But if he's going to be moving out, I don't really want to do that much, I think. So we'll work on handiness and programming while he lives here. But he wants to review diagnostics before he goes into work. Okay, Catherine is going to do the entertainer, and then she's going to go into the musician branch of the entertainer career. Fantastic. Okay, Clint, I hope this thing doesn't take long because mom's going to need the computer to start writing books and get y'all up out of here. Oh, he did get the handiness skill from doing that. That's nice. Oh, Nyla maxed out parenting. She's now level 10 cooking and parenting. Go ahead, Nyla. This house is doing a little too much right now. Okay, you've done your homework. What about your extra credit? There you go. And you've already got a skill to level four. So you're good to go. See if your dad will help you with your homework again. Are you finished with this reviewing diagnostics? Oh, he's angry. Why? Because there's a child nearby. Oh, my gosh. It's your brother. Listen, Kenneth, you can't eat all the food that you cook every time. 
Well, you are a little bit hungry, so that's okay. Clint, this is the longest thing in the whole world. Yes. Oh, see, Clint got $101 for doing that work assignment, and it went straight into his own bank account that he can take with him when he goes. Okay, this book is called K is for Kenneth, and it is an ABC book. Oh, and it's number four. Look, Kenneth is a grown adult. Oh, it's because he has the childish trait. I was like, how is he? Maybe that's why he's so playful. I don't know. Anyway, he needs to cook some more. Let's see. Winterfest starts tomorrow. Oh, show holiday objects. I like that. Oh, Kenneth wants to adopt a dog, but he can adopt a dog when he moves into his own house. We are not doing that. Roger is sitting with his class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. The teacher's looking right at him, but Roger can see how excited the kid next to him is to go up on the stage. Should Roger take the chance or send the other kid? Pick a number one to two. It's two. Send the other kid. And Roger sits back while the kid takes the stage. The kid looks pretty embarrassed as he's asked to improvise something on bongos. But before Roger can laugh, the music teacher calls him up to play backup on rain stick. That's not even a real instrument. <laughs> oh, the baby's screaming. That's okay. We can super efficient baby care. Oh, she is sick with some kind of striped illness. And she's very playful from what? From illness. Oh my gosh. But she did finish writing the book. So let's have her take some medicine and move out Kenneth. Okay, we're finally going to be able to self-publish our book. <laughs> Actually, we're going to sell it to a publisher. Okay, is for Kenneth. She wrote an excellent book. All right, Kenneth. Also... I think you can get out here to get your picture made. Oh my gosh, Rodney Williams is so utterly smitten with Nyla that he's proposing marriage. I wish there was a way to say like, I'm sorry, but no. Because I can say, of course, or no way. I'm going to have to say no way. I'm sorry. Now we both have bad sentiments with each other and I'm pregnant with his child. Okay, let's see what, what the sentiments, uh, sentiments say. I need space, and he's dejected about rejection. I'm so sorry, Rodney. I'm so sorry. I just can't marry anybody, but I mean, okay, time to move Kenneth out. Okay, so this is where he moved in with Addison, and Amelia lives here with Nicole and her husband. So they live really close to each other, but not together. Anyway, I need to take them out of my plate households or it's going to not let them do things on their own, like, you know, get married like they did before. So I'm taking them out of my plate households so that they can do whatever they want to do and live their lives. Okay, and she's going to come in here and start her next children's book. I've got to put up the pictures. Okay, this is Clint's book. C is for Clint. An ABC book. Oh, number five. got to come up with a better place to put these pictures because I'm running out of space. Oh, level nine. She's going to level up in everything. Clint noticed that a rival employee had a huge mistake in their work. An error like this would surely set the opposition back and improve Clint's chances for a promotion. Should Clint let his colleague fail or help fix the mistake for the sake of the work? Okay, normally I would randomize this, but we all know who Clint is, and he's definitely going to let the rival fail. A mistake like this puts the whole engineering team in jeopardy. Clint's boss is disappointed that he and his rival colleague didn't check each other's work. This whole fiasco could have been avoided. Performance loss, small. Okay, but then he got home and got paid, and all that money goes into his own bank account that he'll have when he moves out. And let's see, can you give your brother keys? No, you can't, but I think, I think that Catherine will be able to, really? Why can they not talk to their brother? Okay, Kenneth, I need you to quit doing push-ups so that Catherine can invite you in and give you keys to the house. There we go. Give residence keys to your brother. 
Oh, he's giving us a gift. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh. He gave us a guitar, a carved guitar. Really? Kenneth, this looks like some Lokia did that. Look at that. <laughs> Kenneth, did you make that yourself? Okay. Whatever. I'll see if it still works. We'll use it if it works. I'm going to put it over here in the kids' room. That's so funny. Okay, excuse me, sir. What you doing in my house? Open it. Did you just put a prank gift under there? <gasps> Listen, if one of us gets that prank gift, we're going to be real mad about it, Rodney. All right, Nyla finished Clint's book, but Clint can't move out yet until tomorrow we can take his picture. Maybe we can get his picture before he goes to work. Yeah, because he didn't go to work till 9 o'clock in the morning. So we'll get his picture before he goes to work when the sun is up. And then he can go. When he comes home from work, he can move out. All right, she wants to play the guitar, so I brought it in here. I want to see what it looks like. It won't wake anybody up out here. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, it does not sound nearly as good as that uh, other stuff she does. That's not our people. That's not our people. Now I'm looking to see if any of our people got married. It's William's birthday. We're actually going to go ahead and age him up while Catherine is up and feeling great. She's going in there to cheer up the teddy bear. Oh, it says she can super efficient baby care the baby. So let's do that. Make sure he is as good as he could be. All right. Now let's age him up. Let's see. Toddler William. It sounds like she said William. Oh my gosh, he's wild. He's also adorable. Hey, little William. Let me unlock this door so you can get out. All right, Mom is going to go back to sleep, and Catherine is going to potty train William. Look at him decorating the tree. They're putting the lights on it, and I had Clint just put the topper on it because I didn't feel like Clint would actually want to decorate with everybody else but he's still placing the topper it's taken him a really long time there it is uh oh is he sick from illness and from he's in a food coma from the grand meal okay they have a wonderful tree there we go she added some presents now Oh, I see. If I had clicked on the bottom of the tree, then everybody could open gifts. We're going to get William up and let him come open open a present, too. Did you not open one, Mom? All right, let's see what Catherine got. Oh, she got the prank gift. Catherine, go over here and open a present. I'm sorry you got that gift that Rodney did. Oh, he got a, Roger got a child's violin. Nice. All right, mom's opening hers. She got a Chaz McFreely. Oh, no, Nyla got a chess table. Clint got London's Choice. I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, William got the Dr. Play set. Clint still needs to talk to Father Winter, and then I think he'll have a good winter fest. We'll see. Here's the little Boo Boo Billy doctor play set. I'm totally putting it in his bedroom. And then once we take down the Christmas tree, we'll put it in there where the tree is. But so cute. Nyla just sat in the floor and turned the TV on. That's so funny. Oh, she got the camera, the digital camera that she was wanting. <gasps> this is so weird that it feels like, wow, look at that. We got new cameras. Clint, it's time to take your picture. Why is it so not sunny outside today? There, that might be the best picture I'm going to get of him. He likes being near his family. He just doesn't like kids. So, he wants his family to just not be kids. Okay, apparently things just happen while kids are not at school. Like, the grades get turned in or whatever. Because Roger just became an A student right now. 
from the house. I mean, I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but I'm not mad at it. Okay, he's neat. And let's see, he's a goofball. What do we want him to do? Oh, he's got to do one of the teen ones. Okay, hold on. Pick a number one to four. It's two. Admired icon, like his sister. Oh my gosh, does he have long hair? He sure does. Okay, Roger. Go ahead and do your homework. Mom, you can start on Catherine's book. This little dude is constantly tired, but he did get level two. We're just going to let him go to sleep. Now he can potty by himself, so that's fine. This book is called Candy with Catherine. It's a book about food. Oh, I almost did it. Also, it's number six. So now we're just waiting for Santa to get here so we can ask him for gifts. <laughs> I started a gathering for Christmas tonight so that the kids would all come home. Just in time for Father Winter to be here. Come out here. We are not fighting him for gifts, Clint. I mean, that is what he wants, is a present from Father. There we go. Now he's completed all of his Christmas wishes. And look, Nickel came over and started cooking. Did the baby get some food? Okay. Roger. Roger's hair is so long. Oh my gosh, there was nothing in the gift from Santa. It was just empty. Okay, Roger, let's not play with everybody in here. You can work on your guitar skill later. He is level two, though. That's nice. Of course, Kenneth immediately grabbed a toy and started playing with it. Nickel immediately stopped cooking. He was making a cake? Okay, what is she making a cake? Does everybody come and make a cake? Okay, yeah, let's just clean it up. Can you do that? I've never seen this interaction. But because he's wild, I told William to wrestle with Kenneth, and I want to see what it looks like. Oh, no. I texted someone, but they didn't text back. It's been like an hour. Should I text them again? Yeah, maybe they missed the first one. Oh, my gosh. Clint gave that advice to Roger. Roger, don't ask Clint for advice. Oh, wrestling is just playing. That is so cute. Amelia immediately came over and got on the computer, and she's talking to Addison, and Father Winter is still talking to everybody. Uh, of course, Wild William took his clothes off and is going outside. William, it is winter. Can you please get back in the house? Come in here and go potty for me. A yoga mat. Nice. Oh, and Caleb's here. Yay, Caleb. Thank you for coming over. Oh, a Crisponics Ultra Great with Deluxe Crisper, whatever that is. Nice. Father Winter is hooking everybody up. Can he ask for gifts? Yeah, he can. Girl, go to the bathroom. Nobody, there's two open bathrooms right there. William, get dressed. Wow, everybody that lives in this house is going to sleep or getting ready to go to sleep because they're all so tired. So, we're going to end the gatherings. He won't go potty because there's a stranger in his room, but he literally just ran around this house without his clothes on two seconds ago. She finished Catherine's book. Wait, what? The most recent book that Nyla wrote has been nominated for an award. Check out the next award ceremony Sunday at 7 o'clock. I'm for sure going to forget that. I wish they did like a reminder on Sunday that's like, hey, by the way, this thing is tonight. Look at that. She made 153 from Kenneth, 250 for Clint, and 347 for Catherine. She just published Catherine this morning. This book is called R is for Roger, and it is an ABC book. So if you couldn't tell, every time I do one and it's the first time I've used that letter of the alphabet, then I make an ABC book. And then if it's something else, like the next time I use it, I will make a different kind of a different kind of book with their name. All right, Clint is home from work. I'm not going to move him out yet though because I'm going to move out Clint and Catherine at the same time 
And Catherine gets home at 11 o'clock tonight. So when she gets home, we will move them out. Oh, mom has gone into labor. Looks like you're not going to get your coffee after all. All right. And where is our Rodney? There you go. Maybe that's what. Oh, my goodness. It is super snowing here at the hospital. Hi, Rodney. Okay, I see we have a new person working the desk. Oh, I love looking at the snow back there. I don't know why she's wearing this apron, but it's okay. Oh, now the guy who had the last baby with her is now a doctor. He was working the front desk last time. I guess it's a good thing that there are no windows in this room. It would be bad if people could see in here while she was having babies. Okay, and we only want one baby, but we kind of want a girl. We've had a lot of boys. It's a girl. Yay. You guys have left a ton of names. And I'm going to pick Brooklyn for this one's name. But there are a lot. I have a lot of baby girl names. Not that I couldn't use some more, but... Okay, only one baby. No, twins. Okay. Um, they both need to be B names. And there's actually... Oh, yeah, somebody suggested Brenda. So I'm going with Brenda. Brooklyn and Brenda. Ugh, I thought we were going to not do twins anymore. Remember when I said that? <laughs> okay, Brooklyn and Brenda, let's get you guys home. Oh, I see. So if I leave the baby bed there, then the baby automatically spawns into there. Okay, that's cool. So this is Brooklyn over there, and that's Brenda. All right, let me move Brooklyn where she's going to be. Then we're going to be done. I am excited that that I get to end it right here where I don't actually have to do anything with these twins at this moment. Uh-oh. Yeah. Babies number 9 and 10. So once these babies are, or once she gets pregnant with the next babies, then we will start our gardening enterprise. Oh, wow. I hope the things grow. <laughs> But that's what we're going to do for babies 11 through 20 is we're going to sell our gardening and we're going to make it a flower arranging station. And that's how we're going to make our extra money. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.